So about mid-September, I was given a copy of a GoFundMe page. And at first I didn't think what was written in that was legitimate or real. Uh, it said that Leroy Carhart, who we know to be a global phenomenon in the abortion industry, was moving to Pueblo, Colorado. We took action working with some city council members to try to introduce an ordinance that would block Dr. Carhart from being able to practice here in Pueblo, Colorado. A council then planned a work session uh, that was to be done for the council to ask any legal questions that they had regarding the ordinance. We found out the day prior to the work session that the pro-life legal counsel were blocked, which would include the attorney who wrote the ordinance that was being discussed. I knew that I could reach out to ACLJ again because I had already had a couple of contacts. When I heard that their speakers, their pro-life speakers, had been barred from speaking at the city council, I knew that we needed to take immediate action. So I got a hold of some of our other attorneys, Chrissy and Ben. They got in touch with Tamara and Quinn and found out the details and the facts, and they got back in touch with me and said, we need to send someone. And since I was the closest one at that point, being in Texas, I said, I'll go. I'll make it happen. There was an obvious shift in the council's attitude when they knew that I was there and why I was there. These attorneys probably have a valid point and have uh, occasion to sue because we're not, we are limiting their ability to speak. I know the, the impact that ACLJ has had in the Supreme Court, but to see the local impact, that they would be willing to pretty much drop everything to fight this big industry and this big man that wants to, to harm our community. It's amazing to see how ACLJ fights for the big cases as well as you know, the little people like us.